This is, this is really terrific to have this art displayed here on the sidewalks of the Intermodal Transportation Center. So I want to thank all of the young budding artists for their work in, uh, in developing this and having something uh, really beautiful for uh, our transportation passengers. And you see some of them going through here. They're trying to catch a train, but it gives them something really neat to look at while they're doing that. The T is very proud to be a part of this uh, Fort Worth after school program. Uh, to, last year we did this, uh, we had these contests, we had some winners, and then we used the bus to help display those winners. So uh, you young artists, you actually have a chance uh, toward the end of the year and, and next spring to have some of your artwork displayed on the buses for the entire public to see. So it's really something to work for, and uh, maybe some of you will, will win that contest. Uh, we actually entered this whole program in a national contest this past year. We belong to the American Public Transportation Association. Uh, they have a contest of, of uh, marketing and communications throughout the country. And guess what? We didn't just win first prize, we won the national grand prize for this program in Fort Worth. So uh, I want to thank uh, our staff and in particular the Vice President for Marketing, Richard Maxwell, for making this connection between Fort Worth ISD and the T. And uh, he actually entered, uh, entered this in the contest and helped us win. First of all, I want to thank you very much for inviting me here. Uh, uh, I want to tell you I'm excited about being here, seeing this. Uh, it's uh, a wonderful program that we can see where uh, it really keeps the students interested in school and helps them to really get involved in something that will uh, encourage them, A, to, to stay in school, and B, to uh, uh, give them something to do to keep them safe after school. So I want to thank you for inviting me here, and uh, uh, I want to thank the students for being involved, and I want to thank the parents for being here. Thank you so much for inviting me to join the Lights On After School Celebration. I regret that I'm not able to attend, but wish to congratulate Fort Worth ISD and the Fort Worth After School program for truly inspirational work you do to provide quality after school programs to children who so clearly benefit from their participation. Not only do children benefit, but their parents and community at large enjoy the substantial fruits of children who are better prepared to learn and develop into outstanding citizens. Congratulations again on your exceptional efforts and community affirming program. Sincerely, Honorable J. Wade Birdwell. This is from the City of Fort Worth. Uh, whereas the citizens of Fort Worth stand firmly committed to quality after school programs because they provide a challenging, friendly, and engaging learning environment that helps our communities youth to develop social, emotional, physical, and academic skills and support working families by ensuring that their children are safe and productive after the regular school days. Whereas Fort Worth After School provides significant leadership for the community's involvement in the education and well-being of youth Grounded in the principle that quality after school programs are key to helping children become successful adults. It is good to be here uh, and I understand the importance of good after school program. My son is five years old in kindergarten in Fort Worth ISD at after, Aftercare right now. And so being able to have a good place to go uh, after school for positive things is so important. And that's why I'm happy to be out here today. Um, I've been out to a couple of other events before and, uh, and this is certainly uh, a worthwhile cause and a worthwhile effort so thank you for uh, for letting me be a part of this program today this is very special and and I can't wait to, to check out everything that's going on down there it looks like it's really great work thank you last year my junior year my um, art coordinator for our after-school program Panther Pass she came up to me and said that the T was having a ha an expressions that moves you contest and I haven't really ridden the bus for a while but I was like the bus what about it? And she goes, it's going to put your art on the bus. I was like, that's cool. I'll ride the bus every single day. <laughs> so now I, um, I did win the contest. I was actually, this past year, I was the grand prize winner for the high school division of the um, Expressions That Move UT contest. <laughs> Thank you all very much. And I really, I was excited to compete in the contest. At first, I really didn't know what I was going to do. And I know for a lot of artists, they'll get a piece of paper and they'll look and they'll think, I can do something amazing with this. And if y'all don't know what to do, talk to your teachers and talk to your coordinators and talk to your friends, because I really couldn't have done it without them. I didn't, I'm not that good at mixing colors. My friend sat next to me and she picked out all my colors and helped them mix them up. And 
I just put them on there and my teacher gave me all the great all of my great ideas that finally came together and what I put down on there and I'm looking around right here and I walked around y'all saw me taking pictures of some of y'all there's some really amazing artwork out here all y'all are doing a great job and I'm so glad y'all came out today you might see these uh, posters that are out at your schools and the way this works is from now until the uh, almost the end of school till April you'll be able to enter your art you'll be able to do some art that means something to you that has something to do with the T or our trains so go online to our website ask your teachers about the T or the TRE which keeps banging over here and what you do is you draw something meaningful look at Brianna's work and you'll get an idea of some of the ones that were entered last year and then at the end of the year we will judge your work and the winner in each age category grade school middle school and high school will have winners from each of those categories and your art will be entered into this contest we will choose a winner from each category and your art will be displayed on the side of the bus and you'll also get some valuable prizes at uh, our uh, and get to come to a tea board meeting where you'll be recognized so I would encourage all of you when you see the posters uh, this year to enter into the contest and maybe you can be a winner like Brianna was also I do have on behalf of the state of Texas and our office at a Kelly Hancock's office a certificate to present to Mr. Garcia here and it just says the state of Texas House of Representatives commends Fort Worth lights on after school for their community activism and thanks them for their important role in keeping our students engaged in education. These kids have all uh, entered with posters and artwork that they've done. Uh, they're now recreating that art in chalk on the sidewalks here at the Intermodal Transportation Center. So it's a way for them to show off some of the artwork that they do. Uh, this is going to be going on all year. Uh, these kids and others in the school district will be producing art and uh, we have some great artists, uh, young artists in the Fort Worth ISD. Uh, and then we're going to uh, display these. Uh, they're going to be entered in a contest. Uh, we'll pick the winners next spring and we'll actually show some of this art on the buses next spring. We actually won a national contest for this, uh, for this work. Uh, we entered in the American Public Transportation Administration. Uh, it's called an Ad Wheels Contest. And uh, we won not only first prize, but the national grand prize, which is this big gold star uh, for this effort. 